Okay, let's start with the basics. You want to go to keyboard and mouse sharing.com. If you go to sharemouse.com, it will just redirect you to this website. Share mouse is free for non power users and professionals. That's considered anyone who's using this for with more than two monitors, using server OS, you know, professional grade people. You'll get the Windows installer, the Mac OS installer, the portable edition. If you have any problems with the download, you can get it from an alternative FTP server that they have set up, which is just fantastic. Okay, let's get on with the tutorial. So once you download ShareMouse, you want to unzip it, or you want yeah, you want to unzip it to the file. You'll come up with the installer. You just quickly install it. It takes no problem, no time at all. You don't even have to redirect the file. It's super small. So click finish, and that's it. And you'll get this notice here at the bottom that says another computer was found on this network. Please start share mouse on that computer and be able to for be able to remote control it. So this is the other computer and you click next and the install, the install literally takes about 10 seconds. It is a super fast install. And then you'll get this message. Share mouse has found another install, blah, blah, blah. So once you get that done, you are good to go. Okay, so now you can see I just passed the mouse back and forth. I haven't done any setup. There was no behind the scenes. This is literally what happened next because I had two computers running. So I just passed the mouse back and forth. Yes, that little dimming comes with it and I'll show you how to edit that away. So you go into your monitor manager though and this will show you all of your monitors. As you can see, I'm using four of them and that's among two computers. So between the four computer, between these two computers and four monitors, it'll show up, I'll show a letter to show you where in the lineup is this monitor, and it should be in sequential. But then you go to settings, and here you'll see a monitor switching only if control is pressed. So once you click control, you'll see I'm stuck here. I can't really do anything. It says press the control key to switch to the next computer. This is kind of your lock. Where a lot of companies will use like scroll lock to permanently lock it, they just have a button that you can turn it on and off. Very simple. So once you do that, and then you can also actually re reassign the key if you really want to. You go to data exchange. The drag and drop file system is super fast. You just drag, drop. You really have you rarely have problems. And then you have network. If you're if you have more than one person on your network, you can put a password to protect it. You check online for updates. It's a pretty basic setup for the for the uh, options menu. And now here's where you can turn off the dimming so that way you don't have to worry about that. So you just, once you just uncheck that box, it'll say stay light and then boom, look at that. The dimming is gone, just that simple. This is an amazing piece of software. I am super happy with, my, with what I got. Like I said, the company contacted me and asked me to evaluate their software to see if I would like it. And I can wholeheartedly stand by it. It is good. It is fantastic. I would highly recommend anyone who's looking for a fast, quick KVM to sincerely look at Share Mouse KVM. It is really well designed. It's really effective. Best part is to you don't have to handle the IP addresses if you don't know any of that information. It's very user friendly and very easy to set up. Best part is too you can even use it from a thumb drive which in this day and age is just invaluable if you're trying to do stuff at work or at school. So I would suggest you to take a look at it, that's sharemouse.com, and of course it has a price tag. We touch on that in the review up here in the corner. And yeah, thank you everyone for checking out this uh, setup video. I hope to see you on the next time. Bye guys.